In this video, we're gonna take a closer look at the trading habits and patterns of winning traders, the confidence, the work, and character of winning traders. Stay tuned. Hey traders, a very warm welcome to you. So previous video, we talked about winning traders, trading habits and patterns of winning traders. We looked at the risk, the losing trades of winning trades. Before that, the previous video, we talked about habits of losing traders. We are trying to find the habits of losing traders to avoid them, the habits of winning traders to implement exactly those habits, to emulate them. All right, let's look at another thing, confidence, work, and character. So confidence. Listen, winning traders have got this deep rooted, unshakable belief and confidence in their trading ability. You know, they don't um, think that they are God. This comes back to the second point here. They're humble to the power of the market and don't get a God complex. Let's group those together. In other words, they believe that they can trade successfully, but they don't think they're some sort of genius who can come into the market and extract profits like it's an ATM. They don't think that. They know that, listen, if I do the right thing, the right process, everything is done in the correct manner, I will make money. And if I don't, I will step back, I will reassess, I'll put together another strategy, and I'll iterate until I get to a point where I will make money. I will have losing periods, I will have winning periods, but over time, I will make money. And this is distinct difference. They're not putting it down to luck. They're not putting it down to chance. They're not hoping. They're saying, listen, if I do the right things at the right time, then they'll work itself out in the wash and I will make a profit. The, the, the greatest traders out there are so humble as well, guys. This is, this is, you know, this, this is not the back to the 80s where everyone was just bravado and everyone's making money. And uh, There's a few of them out there. Of course there are. But the majority of guys who have long-term success are very humble with this. You know, they... They understand the market is way more powerful than them. They feel themselves in a privileged position to be making money trading, a privileged position, a very few you know, group of people who's actually making money in the markets. And, you know, they don't get this God complex. They don't think they're a genius. They don't think they're a guru. They're literally saying, listen, you know, I, I've just done the job and it's working for me and I continue to do it and I continue to do it. And, 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 you know, I hope that my consistency works and I can improve and I can constantly improve. Um, they're completely honest with themselves and others about their abilities. In other words, you know, this is this is the, this is a really key point, guys. Is that, you know, they know what they're not good at. They know that they're not, a, a, you know, a kind of genius who can do everything. They know that they're perhaps weak in this aspect of trading, strong in this aspect, and so they position themselves to maximize on their weaknesses and kind of reduce the, um, minimize the effect of, of of their sorry, maximize their strengths and minimize their effects of the of the weaknesses. And they're very very honest with themselves about constantly evaluating themselves, their strategy, the process, everything, and 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 just literally being very very objective about the way that they analyze themselves and what they're doing in the market. All right. So the next thing is uh, the work and character. Big thing, big kind of theme that you see running through winning traders always adapting to changing markets. If you speak to traders who have been in the game for let's say 10 years plus, they will have changed multiple times the strategies, multiple times the strategy. From my perspective, who have been trading since 2001, 2003, depending on about full-time, part-time, I have changed my strategy so many times and that is changing markets. That's also improvement in how I've traded. And if you look at some of the biggest players out there, the guys who have just done very, very well consistently, who are trading at a very high level, you, you can say they talk about strategies that work for them very well in one period and they adjusted, they move with the times, they markets change conditions, um, that the players change conditions. Just look at the, the advent from algos, very basic algos, all the way up to HFT, kind of really high intensity, high frequency trading algos, predatory algos, all those kind of things. The players change, the market conditions change. You know, a strategy that you used very well 10 years ago may well not work today, or maybe it does, but in a different way. You know, this is the kind of thing they're always adapting uh, with changing markets. They don't think that, hey, if I've got a great strategy, that's gonna just give me the, the golden ticket for the rest of my life. Doesn't work like that. Always looking for a new edge. Brings me nicely to this. Constantly looking for any new edge. So while they may be making money and consistently making money and doing very well in the market, they're always on the lookout for something else. Is there another edge out there? Have I spotted something I can make it make some money out of? You know, whether it's you as a trader, whether you've got a team and someone's doing that for you. Okay, we're talking about a high level kind of fund here or prop trader who has an assistant, or if you're 
you know, a, a trader on your own, you might have a trading assistant doing that, whatever. You're always looking for a new edge, allocating time in your trading week to look for a new edge. Okay, have I spotted something where there's an opportunity with that setup? Is this strategy working well? You know, what happens at this time of day? Um, is something happening where, you know, news is bringing, making this affect that, whatever it may be, you know, is gold affecting? Always looking for that new edge. Having patience, solid patience. I've talked about this before many times, but it's literally patience on a micro level and a macro level. So patience with the micro level, the trade, let me be patient about it working out. Will it work out? Let me hold it, let me wait, let me wait for it within the parameters that I've set, not holding the thing for blooming weeks when it's supposed to work in a day, obviously, but understanding that sometimes you have to let things mature. And also from a macro level of, hey, I'm not gonna make a million straight away in my first month of trading, but I might make a million over a multi-year period if I do things right and I scale up my operation and I do this and I do that. So understanding these things take time and having the patience to hold it out and not being impatient. If we're flipping back to losing traders very quickly, a lot of losing traders may well have some consistency and think, well, I want to make a big, you know, I, want to, I really want to make some gains now. Let me just increase my size. There's the impatience coming in, of course. You may have a bit of success, but then it's just going to wipe out all those profits. So having that patience and growing you know, within a kind of framework that you've you've attributed uh, to your trading business. A good understanding of strengths and weaknesses. Oh, we've covered this um, earlier in confidence, and it's kind of the same kind of it's kind of the same thing. You know, knowing that they're honest with themselves and their abilities, and then knowing and um, pressing their strengths and kind of avoiding their weaknesses when they can. Spend many many hours studying, refining, researching, thinking. This is a big one. I covered it in other videos as well, but I really want to reiterate it because it's such a it's such a big point focusing on not looking for the next big trade not looking for the next big short the next big breakout whatever it may be but spending a lot more time on refining the strategy researching more strategies refining you know studying um your your how your performance studying your statements studying your executions not studying the market of course they're still studying the market as well but this is this is a, this is the massive part of the trading business which goes unseen and this is the part that makes the difference between the guys who are making their money out there and the guys who aren't and even just thinking listen you know just sitting allocating some time saying hey i'm going to go for a walk or i'm going to you know go for a whether it may be steam room sauna whatever something where i'm just going to sit for a time in a chair and i'm just going to think about you know my strategy my approach you know letting your mind kind of process what you're doing because this is a very this is a game where it's you can fall into the trap of it being very systematic and very logical but there's a lot of thought that goes into you know where's the next idea coming from how are other people thinking um, a lot of emotional intelligence comes into trading um you know the perfect trader matches the emotional intelligence with with iq and and blends it to perform to, to form like a really perfect trader but allowing yourself to think about you know what's happening with my trading where can i go is there any ideas for strategies and ideas for how i can improve and just giving yourself that thinking time and the other one is is focusing on improving one step at a time we went back a couple of videos ago we talked about the analogy with becoming a pilot um or becoming someone at a very high end of a very high skill set you're focusing on one thing at a time this is a big thing it's listen i want to focus on executing my entries in breakout trades very very drilled down very very narrow focus drill it drill it drill it do trading drills whatever to get that better i want to focus on how i feel when i take a loss you know again completely different subset of skills but focusing wholly on that until that is drilled down and absolutely perfect all right, guys, we're going to move on. In the next video, I'm going to talk about constant improvement. This is a big thing of traders, a big thing of winning traders, a big theme running through it. If we can emulate that and mirror this, we're on the path to where we want to be. Stay tuned. See you in the next one, guys.